I'm actress, comedian, Shondalia White, and this is your I Can't Eat Shit Quick Tip. People love sauces. Sauces on this, sauces on that. Sauces everywhere. They put sauce on stuff that don't even need a sauce. You're like, this tastes good by itself. Why they put this sauce? It made it taste worse. I don't get it. My husband loves sauces on everything as well. And I've never quite been a sauce person, but I don't indulge in sauces now because you don't know what's in it. There's always some secret ingredient or something they just didn't list. So recently, I went to a restaurant and I asked if the sauce had peppers in it. They're like, no. I was like, can you double check with the kitchen? Oh, no, it's no peppers in it. They bring it out. It got peppers in it. I was like, well, the sauce has peppers in it, so I need something else. And they're like, oh, it doesn't have peppers in it. So you telling me that my eyes are lying to me? I don't know what I'm looking at. There's literally red peppers, not red pepper flakes, but red peppers in it. And I think people get confused by that sometimes, but it's still pepper. It's pepper. So anyway, (laughs) uh, you don't know what's going on with it. And if you're like me and sometimes you want to indulge in some sauces, Here are a few tips for you so that you don't mess up your gut. The first thing is to get the sauce on the side. I think most people know this, but sometimes you might forget, especially when it comes to like a salad dressing or something like that, or just like, you know, in a bowl, it's like a a chicken bowl or something. And a lot of times they'll drizzle some quick sauce on it. Get it on the side so you can check and make sure there's no discrepancies before it hit that gut. The second thing would be order the condiments separately on the side. So, for example, if you have a salad, but you don't want the dressing because it comes with like ranch or some type of Caesar or something like that, you can ask for olive oil and balsamic and some salt and kind of make your own dressing. This will help you out so that you don't even have to go through that. You can still have some sort of flavor on top of it, but it's not something that's going to destroy you. That's all based on what your restrictions are. You might not be able to do vinegar or you might not be able to do some oils, but keep that in mind and usually people are happy to do it. And the last tip would be when you're at home, make your own sauces. Just learn to do it. It's not that hard (laughs) because I'll tell you right now, most things in the store, again, they have ingredients that if you have restrictions, you cannot eat, especially me. So what I do is I go to the store and I take a picture of a sauce that I like and then I just eliminate all the ingredients that I can't eat and I buy the ones I can in the store and go home and make it at home. I know it can be challenging, but you can do it. Do it, do it for your good, do it for your good. (laughs) And that is your quick tip. Check out full episodes of I Can't Eat Shit Podcast wherever you stream your podcast. You can also check me out on YouTube at Shondalia White's I Can't Eat Shit Podcast. I have an RSS feed if you just want to listen, and I have a watch playlist if you want to watch me. If you watch me, you get bonus material, which is There's Another Way to Do That, which is my cooking segment where I teach you how to modify recipes based on my restrictions. They're delicious and so, so, so good. Check out your girl. You can also check out I Can't Eat Shit Podcast on Instagram or check me out at Shondalia White. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. I Can't Eat Shit! I Can't Eat Shit Podcast is not a replacement for a medical professional. If you need help, seek out a trained medical professional, nutritionist, or therapist to help you with your specific needs.